Well, I want to introduce you to um, making colloidal silver or nano silver commercial grade with Spooky 2. And actually, I found out something where you can make it much faster because um, I put this meter on here. This is actually showing, depending on the scale, this is actually, um, um, it's, if you're looking at zero, depending on the scale I have it on, actually, I have it on another scale, um, it's actually showing about three times higher than the milliamps it normally would show 0.02 milliamps and that, that I have it on a different scale it's actually showing 0 0.06 almost around 0 0.06 milliamps on a scale now I'm going to tell you what that means it's going to take one third the time as they estimate in the spooky calculator to make your nano silver so if it takes uh, they estimate you know two days or something it'll take you under a day and I'll tell you why that is I think I'm pretty sure because I decided these silver rods were so long. I, um, you know, they give you nice long silver rods with the kit. The kit is like um, 70 bucks with the shipping, you know, not including the generator, just that. Just this piece here. Just that piece right here. That at, not the generator. The generator is 105 plus the shipping also. Um, but if you have the generator, you might want to get that. That's with the shipping is 70 bucks. The generator is 105 plus. I don't know what the shipping is. I'm not sure. Um, it's coming from China, so it's not really cheap, but it's not ridiculous either. But uh, what I'm doing, since I put this on, I bent these rods like so they go, you know, like this. You see that curve down there? There's a lot of surface area. And. That is going to make the silver, um, you know, solution go a lot quicker to make it, right? The other thing is, okay, I'm using the magnetic lab store. That's this thing. Uh, it's got a speed adjustment on it and stuff. Um, I don't know. I just got it set, like, sort of in the middle, I guess. Um, now, if you look at this thing, it's actually stainless steel, but the bottom of the glass is, is it's glass lined, and the bottom is just glass. That's why that thing works. It, this is kind of neat because it keeps this covered up from light and I'll shut that light off actually after a while I think this is going to take way under a day to make because um, like if it's 0 .02, 0 .02 there's a time and if it's 0 .04 it's half the time I'm doing about 0 .06 it's going to be about a third of the time that's pretty damn good and I think it's because like, like I said the way I bent those rods they give it really really long rods they would have stuck out of here about you know that high or something <laughs> I says you know why not just bend them up and make use out of the damn things right you know using a little mechanical ingenuity here <laughs> common sense practical shit you know redneck shit right besides uh, talking $500 words you know that's the way to do things right now there's a calculator in here I'm not gonna show it to you because <laughs> I think I, I did show it on the other video but um, oh by the way I'm running uh, DNA special there that's a code I'm not supposed to show because it's supposed to be secret <laughs> god let me get that off of there um, this is that's the waveform we're running right there <laughs> now that I told you it was secret you know it's supposed to be proprietary man I just found it someplace you know so and if you hear that noise on my camera I'm running a fan back here I always run this I got a few computers in here I try to keep the air circulated. I got two other. Actually, I got six computers. You know, <laughs> that's not that. That used to be impressive way back when, but no longer. But uh, you know, you know. As a side note, I used to run. Uh, what the hell was it? Uh, um, NT server, whatever the hell it was, two thousand or some crap when it first came out. I don't know what the hell. I'm no longer into that kind of crap because I realize it's just a bunch of gobbledygook. But I'm into this. I'm into this because, to me, health is number one. Um, I'm not going to go drinking this stuff every day, but I'm going to make some once in a while, and I'm going to drink it. <laughs> okay? I'm not going to go overboard on anything. I think too much of anything is no damn good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, once in a while, I'm going to make a batch of this stuff. And um, I got two other spooky generators running all the time. Um, this probably won't take too long because I think the one hot tip I can give you again is bending those rods in the fashion like that. And if you don't have a little, this is cheap if you want to get one of these meters. 
Uh, you're supposed to check the milliamps. It's supposed to be, you know, it, at, when you put it in that spooky calculator I showed on the other video, I'm going to put the link on that right now. Um, when you use that spooky calculator, um, if you're, the milliamps is higher, like if it's twice as high as what they're showing on the example of the calculator, um, you'll get, it'll take half the time. So mine was three times as high it showed. I'm showing 0 .06 milliamps. And, and now the gauge didn't show that because of where I had it set on here, but you know, it is 0 .06 milliamps. So it's going to take one third the time. Um, so it should take whale well under a day to make a nice good solution of 500 milliliters or just over a half a quart of true nano colloidal commercial quality silver. So we're making this the spooky way and I don't know. Um, I'm just going to have to do updates on this deal every once in a while. You know, if you got any questions, fine. I'm learning as I go because I don't want to put this video out as the be all end all freaking way to do things because um, you might want to check that spooky site because they change stuff a lot, man. Every time I put something out on one of these videos, they freaking change it, man. Sometimes it's in two weeks, sometimes it's in two months, sometimes it's within two hours. So I'm afraid to put stuff out here. Um, but yeah, I've been, I'll tell you one thing though. I've had I've never had any problem. I have three of these generators. I know some people said they had a problem once once in a while. Very few people had a problem. I think they got rec remedied. But there's always somebody who was dissatisfied. But I've I have three generators running 24 hours more than um, a year now, and they're all they all work, and they're pretty versatile because you can make this real high quality colloidal nano silver, and um, considering it like again for the third time, I know I'm repeating myself. People say, "Oh, you're repeating myself," because like a lot of times people miss it. The fact that I bent those rods in this in that fashion like that because they're so long. Um, that gives you a lot more surface area. You know, I use this thing here. This thing is actually from the magnetic stirrer to hold the, the thing in place here, the cup, which I really don't need because it fits right in here perfect. It, there's like a lip that holds it, but that's supposed to hold the top of it down. I use it to put the rods in there too, and it holds the rods in there perfectly. And it's swirling around real quick. Um, I think this is going to do a great job, man. Kind of glad I really am glad I got this damn thing now. Because um, I, I hear so much crap about you didn't really make the best stuff and you didn't get our break. Well, this is supposed to make the best on par with the best commercial quality stuff there is. Some of that stuff can run you 40 bucks for 8 ounces. So theoretically, if some, depending on where the hell you're getting it from, this could be $80 worth of stuff I'm making right here. And I can just keep making it all the time. I mean, it depends on who the hell's selling it. I mean, it's really supposed to make the really best stuff. Now, you're going to ask me, did I look at it in a microscope? No. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I got my word from John White, the engineer that put this thing together. And I'm going to I trust him, okay? I'm a type of guy that can evaluate who the hell's BS and who's not. And I can usually tell you who the hell's not BS. It's my opinion on that deal. I don't represent him. I'm not a marketer for him or nothing. I'm an end user. I only put out stuff that I think is great. And, um... I think this is great <laughs> okay okay so there we go uh, what else can I tell you you want to look at this thing going around in a circle for a million years it's gonna take a good I don't know maybe it's gonna take I don't know exactly I'm gonna check it with the TDS meter um, typically the TDS meter reads about half of what it really is because the TDS meter really reads ionic it doesn't read the collides but it should show like a slight pale wheat color in here and I'll go by that too with the laser light I could put the laser light through this little window here in the glass and I have the laser light and I can use the TDS meter and I'll show you what the TDS meter is well here's the TDS meter and here's uh, the head engineer pooping a cat and you can see the other cat was out there just here he is see him out there <laughs> see him by the front of the bumper of the car he was just out there eating that's a that's the fifth cat. Anyway, and here's the head engineer Putin, and here's Goldie coming over to help. And you know what laser lights are? Those are these things. These things here. These things are like the things that cats like to chase. You don't point them at their face or nothing, but they chase after them. And when you point them through the um, solution, if you got a true collide, you'll see a stream going through there because that'll show the particles. It won't show any ionic. This will measure the ionic more 
more. It doesn't really measure the particles. But these are cheap too. You know? And you start out with, of course, pure distilled water. Right, Goldie? Right, Rocky? Right? You paying attention? You guys are the lab assistants. He's the chief engineer. Right? You too, buddy. This guy's a genius, man. Don't let him fool you. Putin the cat is a genius. It's cool hand Luke. So, and we're trying to hire a new one out there, a couple more of them. So, um, right? So, anyway, the cats know how to make freaking colloidal nano silver the spooky way, right? Because you're in charge of all the ghosts, right? In the spirit world. You know, when you, anyway. <laughs> and by the way, you know what I do? You see that, I don't know if you can see out there, that there's a bowl out there, the white bowl. There's a white bowl and there's like a, well, there's a plastic one and a porcelain one. Um, the plastic Tupperware one, that's the water. I always put a little colloidal silver in there. Not all, just enough so it doesn't, the water doesn't get screwed up for Mr. Cat's outside. So there's other uses for it, right? So we're taking care of the cat kingdom here. Top engineer Putin is on a job at all times. Cool hand Luke, along with Goldie and Rocky, the enforcer. Anyway, there we go.